Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Don't ever build a part like this, ladies and gentlemen. This part that I created in a few ill-advised lofting operations, crazy cuts and spline profiles is unnecessarily complicated and probably serves no practical purpose if it were manufactured. So why am I spending my precious time modeling it in Autodesk Fusion 360? I want to see what happens when I send this part to be printed in a 3D printer, a workflow that's possible in Autodesk Print Studio. What you're looking at is a simulation of how a part will print inside a 3D printer. Think of it as a preview of your 3D print job, as seen in Print Studio. Now, Print Studio is tightly linked to Autodesk cloud-based modeling program Fusion 360. If you design something in Fusion 360 and you hit Make, in essence, signaling that you want to make that part in 3D printing, Print Studio will automatically launch. Now, back to my ugly part. At this point, I have a solid part I can attempt to print. Once I hit Make, it asks me if I want to mesh it. The mesh options are available for fine, medium, or low resolution. If the project involves a lot of fine details that you'd like to see and feel, I suppose you'd want that mesh to be fine-grained. When Print Studio launches, you'll see your part loaded and you can start the preparation process. 3D printing is a layering process, so if your part is, like mine, an odd shape that cannot stand on its own or would stand wobbly on a flat surface, support structures are needed to prop it up while you're printing it. Now this is the stage where Print Studio really flexes its muscles. The software automatically examines your part, reposition it if necessary to make it fit best in the print chamber based on the printer that you have chosen, then automatically generate the support structures that you would need. Now, if you are an expert, you can disregard the automatically generated support or manipulate it or delete it or add your own support pillars. Well, to be honest, I'm not exactly a 3D printing expert, so I'm going to go with the Print Studio's suggested support structures. The software also interrogates your geometry and lets you know if your parts is too big and need to be scaled or if you need to patch up your geometry before it can be printed. Two patch generation takes a few minutes. The more complex your part, the longer it takes. Once you process it, you can preview the way your part will be printed along with the support. You can use the little slider bar to play it back frame by frame as it were to see how the part will be built inch by inch from the bottom up. Now Print Studio also operates independently from Fusion 360. So if you, for example, downloaded a nice model from a user community like GrabCat where you can get them for free. You can import it into Print Studio, then generate the support structure that you might need and print it in the same fashion. With the printer's prices dropping, there is good reason to believe that very soon engineers and designers will keep 3D printers nearby on their desk and print objects liberally whenever they feel like they need to see or handle a part in physical proportion. If that vision is true, Print Studio is a precursor to the kind of function you'll likely see in many mainstream CAD programs. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong reporting from inside the studio. Print Studio.